Chairman, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Go Fan Zai from Nanjing University. Uh, it's my pleasure to have a talk here. Today, I would like to talk about uh, uh, reducing urban disaster risk by uh, urban planning. <coughs> As you may know, uh, last year, uh, Munich Luyak uh, report, uh, provided a report. Uh, in his report, uh, there is a sentence such as, uh, the number of uh, natural catastrophe uh, from 1980 to 2070 uh, increased greatly. And the loss due to natural disasters has also increased greatly. According to United Nations report, uh, over the past uh, 20 years, natural disasters have affected 4.4 billion people, cost uh, 2 trillion. United States dollars of damage and killed uh, 1.3 million people. So disasters uh, have affected people living in not only developing countries, but also in developed countries. Uh, on the other hand, was organization is going on, uh, it means more and more people concentrated in urban area. Here is a picture from the uh, United Nations report. In 1990, uh, the percent of population living in urban area was uh, 43 percent. But in the year of 2050, the person of population living in urban area were increasing, increased to 70%. But in the urban area, uh, there, is, there, are, there were some uh, nature phenomena, such as, uh, such as uh, flood plains and uh, fault lines and the steep uh, slope, slope. If, the, if in, the, in the flood plain, if the people informed uh, lived here, they are exposed to the floods. If the school buildings are located in near fault line, and uh, near the steep rope, they may be exposed to the earthquake and uh, uh, slope landslide. So how to uh, reduce the disaster risks uh, from urban planning? Uh, it's my, our tasks. Uh, what is urban planning? Uh, urban planning is a technical and a political process uh, concerned with the use of land, protection and the use of environment, public wear, welfare and the design of urban environment. Today, uh, because the International uh, Symposium is uh, uh, related with a lot of uh, uh, principles, subjects. Today I only talk about from our ma majors, specialists from urban planning. From the urban planning, I think uh, there are many, many uh, ways to reduce disaster risks. The most important, I think, uh, there are three ways. The first is uh, to avoid disaster prone area. Just as, just as I talked, uh, there are 
fault line and uh, floods, uh, rivers. So we have to uh, avoid the sh shift area and the shift area uh, as far as possible. But if we have to build some buildings or infrastructures near the fault line or near the flood plain, we have to uh, use disaster resistant structures, uh, such as uh, earthquake resi resistant structure or flood proven uh, structure. I think Tokyo provides a good example, example in the uh, development of disaster prone areas. This is the map of uh, vulnerability rank of Tokyo uh, city. The <coughs> vulnerability is evaluated from, uh, from, from damage and uh, uh, fire and uh, evacuation uh, accessibility. So we can find uh, Around the center of Tokyo, about uh, 10 to 20 kilometers, this ring area is very uh, vulnerable, vulnerable. So in, in the urban planning, we have to uh, make this area uh, at a higher probability of redevelopment. Of course, uh, the priority, priority has two, two rank. The first is uh, the most important uh, area to uh, redevelop. And the second is the normal uh, area. The third way, I think, in urban planning is to uh, a sure urban disaster prevention space. For example, especially uh, evacuation system. Now we are doing a, doing a plan for the uh, county, uh, Jinghu County. This is the uh, evacuation shelters in Jinghu County in the year of 2050s. In the year of 2050s, we will build uh, 444 uh, evacuation uh, shelters. Of course, uh, different shelters uh, has different functions. It means uh, different shelter uh, is uh, applicable for some uh, disasters. Some are applicable for one or two uh, disasters. So uh, we, we divided the sh shelters uh, into six types, six types. Uh, of course, uh, we have to plan the uh, evacuation routing or evacuation gateways. Uh, in the county, Jinghu County, we uh, planned uh, 16 gateways in total. The three for railways, and the eight for roadways, and the five for waterway, and the one for airline. So uh, when disaster occurred, we may use six, uh, 17 gateways to uh, for the evacuation and uh, for the rescue use. Yeah. Of course, besides the, besides the three main ways to reduce disaster risks, we also have other ways to reduce uh, disaster risks, such as uh, density control, for example, uh, if we 
consider the fire uh, risks, we have to uh, reduce the urban densities as far as possible. And we can also use the height regulation, especially for the earthquake. Uh, as you know, in China, we have many, many uh, fault lines, especially in the western area. So we have uh, give a strict regulation on the urban uh, building height, heights. Yeah. And uh, we can also adjust uh, the urban functions, such as uh, uh, just uh, I show that here, uh, we can, uh, before the development, here is uh, informal development uh, developed, uh, like uh, uh, residential area. But we can use it as a park or as a wetland. This is, uh, uh, we call it, uh, uh, function the adjustment. Of course, we can also uh, use uh, special restrictions. Yeah, uh, usually uh, small city has uh, one center, but uh, big city usually has uh, two or more centers. Uh, generally speaking, more centers has uh, more resilience uh, to natural disasters. So we can we can uh, make we can uh, do the special restrictions to make uh, urban uh, re resilient. Yeah, resilient. So. Anyway, I think uh, urban planning has many, many ways to reduce uh, disaster risks. But uh, how to, how to uh, uh, efficient, efficiently, to efficiently reduce disaster risks needs our more and more uh, work, yeah, more work. So I think uh, we, if we do better uh, urban planning, we can make uh, urban life uh, much safer. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah.